The overview page has links to the root page of each model that was published. Go ahead and click on it to open the report. On the data model for this logical model, the left side shows the objects and the diagrams associated with this schema. Let's look at the diagram of the model. From this diagram view, we can click on the table or columns to drill down the details for that element. Next, we'll show how to generate a model by reverse engineering an existing database. Let's use Data Architect to reverse engineer from an existing database. We'll create a physical data model from an existing Oracle database, then update that physical model to reflect changing business requirements. Next, we'll use Compare and Sync to generate the appropriate DDL for the schema changes, and then directly deploy the changes to the database. First, let's create a new physical model from a live connection to the Oracle database in the Data Source Explorer. The Data Source Explorer provides a list of configured database connection profiles where we can perform various operations on the objects associated with the databases. To create the model, we simply drag and drop the Oracle XE database to the data model folder in our data design project. The content of the database is analyzed and the physical data model is created along with the associated metadata. We can make our changes to that model from the diagram or directly from the Data Project Explorer as we show here. Let's change the length of the product image column in the product table, which we can do in the context sensitive properties view for that column. Then delete the gross margin column by right clicking on it and choosing delete. Finally, to add a new column, we right click on the table, choose add data object and then column. Add the new column name, product comment, and then use the properties view to specify the data type. Now let's compare and do a bidirectional sync between the changed model and the original Oracle database. By bidirectional, we mean one, we can generate the DDL to update a database, and two, we can change the data model to reflect the source database. From the Data Project Explorer, right-click on the GoSales schema of the physical model we just created and compare with the original source, which opens up the Structural Compare view. The view indicates that there are differences in the product table between the updated physical model on the left and the original Oracle database on the right. By drilling down on the table, we can see the differences in detail. As we would expect, we can see that the new column product comment exists in the physical model and does not exist in the Oracle database. Click on the right arrow to copy the change over to the Oracle database view on the right. Note that here we're not actually deploying anything just yet. Another difference is the length of the data type for the product image column. As a reminder, you can use the properties views to change the data type for the database, the model, or both. We'll copy that change over as well. Finally, we see that the gross margin column does not exist in the model because we deleted it from the model earlier. Let's say we decide that a change to the physical model is incorrect. We can copy over the missing column from the database to make sure that the physical model and the database stay in sync. On the toolbar, Data Architect lets us do impact analysis for the objects on either side of the comparison and to generate DDL for changes that we made to objects on the left as well as on the right. Since our database is on the right side, we'll generate DDL for the right. We have the capability to run the DDL on the server now, but let's save the DDL and manually execute the DDL script later. This is a best practice so that the DDL can be reviewed and approved by the DBA as well as giving application developers a chance to modify any applications that have dependencies on that change. The DBA has approved the DDL and now the changes can be deployed from the Data Project Explorer which has a folder just for SQL scripts. Right click on the script and choose Run SQL, then specify the target database to deploy the changes. A status message in the SQL results view indicates the DDL has been run successfully on the Oracle server. We can use the Data Source Explorer to directly view the changes we specify during Compare and Sync, the new product comment column and the changed product image column. Another great feature of the Data Source Explorer is the ability to see sample data from the table, which can help data architects understand data characteristics in real time. For example, we can check the product table and confirm that data for the product image column is extended correctly and that the default value is correctly assigned to the new product comment column. This concludes the reverse engineering process. 
to summarize, we created a new physical data model from a database, changed the model, we compared the changed model with the source database to generate the delta DDL necessary to sync the model on the database. We executed the DDL back on the database server to deploy the changes we made in the model. And finally, we used the Data Source Explorer to see the schema changes on the database server and view sample data from the change table. InfoSphere Data Architect provides rich and powerful capabilities for collaborative data design and modeling. But what really sets Data Architect apart is its integration with rational software development and design tools, InfoSphere information integration tools, and integrated data management tools such as Data Studio Developer and Administrator, facilitating alignment and collaboration across a variety of architectural, administrative, and development roles. Try InfoSphere Data Architect today by clicking on the download link shown here.